Sonic X Comic Issue 28 We start out with Chris's dad being congratulated for clean energy sources, and the power goes out at the worst moment because Eggman's using green bots to drain the power station for his next plan. His green bots are able to get their own energy without needing to repower themselves. Sonic snarks about how only one of the robots is green, gets soaked by water, and almost shot with fire. A gust of wind and a bunch of water inconveniences him. I do like how creative this is, and he decides to reflect a fire beam back at one of the robots to destroy them because their metal wasn't immune to it for some reason. Then Amy drops in to help fight the wind bot, and Tails threatens the robot with his giant plane, but the robot sees an emerald in it and sends fire at the plane. Eggman tells the robots to go home for repairs because his readings tell him he has significant damage, and Sonic says they have to get the emerald back from the water robot. Tails says he can use some scrap metal from busted gunbots to fix the wind of his boring looking white plane, and then they can use the emerald radar to find Eggman. Sonic snarks that the green bots have still damaged the environment. Seeing the ashes here briefly made me think of an alternate dark scenario of this where Tails was so badly burned in the fight that he looked like those ashes. That'd be too dark and unnecessary, of course, but considering what happened to Antoine eventually, it reminded me of that. Sonic would be too distracted fighting the robots to protect all of his friends, and Tails was just sitting there in the plane like a sitting duck in front of the firebot. If he got reduced to cinders because of all this, I think Sonic would be so mad at Eggman that he'd forget to hold back. When Eggman tries to steal the Master Emerald again and lies that he'll use it for clean energy, fortunately Knuckles doesn't believe Eggman's lies, and holds the robot over his head by the foot trying to avoid being crushed. Sonic and Amy show up to back up Knuckles, who doesn't get crushed. This is what makes him better than Boom Knuckles. And Amy's hammer gets damaged while Knuckles is thrown in the mud. The Windbot does his thing, and the emeralds in the plane gets exposed. Of course, since the heroes trailed off, it's obvious that they'll be inconvenienced in the next panel. How did they not get horribly burned from that? Eggman uses one of his robots to get a hold of the Master Emerald, and since he mentions Chaos, I'm confused at first because the SA1 adaptation already happened in the anime. But then he says that this time, Chaos will be bound to his robots and thus answer to him. He thinks of it as his own form of Chaos Control, which is pretty clever, and the story ends on a cliffhanger. This issue was written by Tracy Yardley. And had Eggman had the brilliant idea to use clean energy to power his robots for a change, and the reason it's brilliant is because they can repower themselves way easier if the fuel's all over the place. And he got the idea naturally because Chris's father was responsible for a clean energy plant. The robots are all mental themed, which is pretty cool. I like that there's good tension by the heroes being given a hard time. The plank is damaged and its emerald is stolen because Tails didn't bother to make it fireproof. And they all go to Angel Island where Eggman releases chaos and has it fused with the machines so which can obey him. Of course, there was a foregone conclusion that Eggman would get a hold of the Master Emerald, because every time he tries to steal it, he succeeds. So Knuckles failed as a guardian like three times in this continuity alone. 